Hello and welcome on this first video tutorial on using the basics of Lightroom. So here we are, I just opened up Lightroom, uh, I'm using version 3 and right now it's completely empty because I created uh, uh, an empty catalog just like if you would install Lightroom for the first time on your Mac or PC. So uh, this video is just about importing uh, photos in your Lightroom catalog and um, basically that's all we're going to do. We're going to follow the workflow starting with importing the photos. So to start with, you go into File and Import Photos. This will open a new window which has basically three sections. Section number one, on my left here, I have all the various drive which are, are connected to my Mac. In the middle, this is where the photos will appear once I have selected the source material I'm going to import. And this is various uh, window settings that we are going to be using uh, to do some tweeting on, uh, on the photos as we import them. So to start with, I'm going to go onto my CF card, uh, which I have uh, put a certain number of photos which we're going to be using. Uh, here they are. I'm going to, uh, so as you select your card or your hard drive or whatever source uh, where your photos are, as soon as you select it on the left, they appear in the middle. Uh, you can change the size of the thumbnails uh, by clicking and dragging this little slider here. So let's put them a little bigger. And here we have various options. This is the most complicated part. But uh, basically, as I told you in the introduction, I'm not going to go into every single detail because it's going to be overwhelming. I'm just going to go into what I use on a day to day basis you know, which is 90% of what most uh, Lightroom users that I know are using. So uh, one of the things I'm using is the file re renaming window. Here you have a checkbox called rename files. Uh, you have the possibility to put a title, which we are going to do. I'm just going to put in photos. And as all the photos will import, they will be named photo one, photo two, photo three, photo four, which is pretty convenient because uh, usually, you know, photos have names like MG680, 89, .cr2 or, you know, such, such a computer type names. Uh, if you would do like a wedding of uh, Paul and Mary, you could put uh, wedding Paul and Mary, you know, and all your file names will be named Paul and Mary 1, Paul and Mary 2, for example. So this is one thing that I do. I always rename my file as uh, on the fly, as I, I import them. Um, this next window is uh, settings that you can put in um, on the on the metadata of the files as you import them. Now, uh, the only option that I'm using here is uh, copyright information. Basically, this is how it goes. You go here and you can create new. This opens a window where you can once and for all put in all your copyright informations. So, for example, uh, you know, I can put in my name, uh, Serge Remelli, you know, my address, uh, you know, let's say Paris, uh, your phone number, your email, uh, you know, whatever uh, you want. And this information will be embedded in every photos you will ever import for Lightroom. This is something you have to do just once. Uh, so I'm not going to go the whole, th you know, through the whole thing of putting in your information, but this is where you would put in your email, your website, whatever you want them, whatever you want to be included in your photos once and for all. Once you have done, you are done uh, creating this preset, you can call create and, um, oops, I'm sorry, uh, new, you have to put in a name. So let's call this copyright search. Okay. And let's say, so I call, uh, I call this Serge Ramelli and, you know, I put in all the information, like, uh, let's say my website, you know, uh, photosearch.com. That's my website. And then I can call it create. So I created a preset called copyright search. So call create. And now you see, I have selected in the metadata copyright search meaning every photos will be embedded with this data. So when I export them to the web, whatever I will do from now on, this information will be in the photos and I have done it just once forever. 
because by default, the next time I will import photos, it will propose me in the metadata copyright search. It will remember it the next time you want to import photos. So we won't have to go through the hassle of filling in this form. Okay, once you have given your copyright information, you can enter keywords. That is something that I do every time I import photos, I put in keywords. Now, uh, let's say here I'm going to put in sky. You put a comma between the, the, the various um, keywords. If you're importing keywords before, it will subject keywords. But for now, I'm going to put sky, Paris, uh, trees. Uh, the thing is, the, the photos I'm importing today are from various different shoots. So it's a bit hard to put in one keyword for all the photos. So I'm just going to put in sky. Uh, and Paris. Now, let's say you would do like a wedding or a, a landscape photography in the Alps. You can put in just Alps or landscape, but please put in a keyword every time you input photos. Next, here is a destination is where do you want your photos to be in? So I want my photos to be on my hard drive called Blockbuster, uh, Photo Surge, and I'm going to call, I'm going to create a new uh, directory. So a new folder so I click on uh, right click on photo search create new folder and let's call this uh, tutorial uh, to tutorial Lightroom okay so I've created that folder I click on choose and it's going to import all the photos in that folder so let's click on import and basically that's what I do 90% of the time when I want to import photos you see, uh, what Lightroom did is that it changed the name of all the photos, it imported my copyright information, and it put them in a specific folder on uh, one of my hard drives. And uh, it goes pretty fast. Now, if uh, you see, if when I go onto a photo, it says photo one, uh, photo two, photo three. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, in the import um, photo uh, menu, which we had before, uh, you have options here. I forgot to mention that copy as DNG, copy or just copy. By default, I'm shooting with a Canon um, uh, Canon camera and uh, I'm shooting in a RAW format. And this is what I encourage you to do is to always shoot RAW. The RAW format for the Canon cameras are CR2 files. Now, I when I import my photos in Lightroom, I want them to be converted as DNG files. What are DNG files? They are basically raw files, but they are, it's a raw format that has been created by Adobe uh, company, the creators of Photoshop and Lightrooms. And uh, the reason I do it is that the files are usually a bit smaller than the CR2 files without losing any quality. Plus the legend is that the DNG files will be forever uh, compatible with any system ever, uh, which might not be the case of the CR2 file. That's what some of the blogs are saying. But anyway, I do it for consistency and for size purposes. So I always check the copy as DNG. So now we can cancel. So all the photos were converted to DNG, rename as photo one, photo two, photo three, etc., etc. dot DNG. Okay, so here we are. We are done with the first video, which we imported our file in the catalog. Let's go on to the next video, which is going to be the main thing is the retouching part.